everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome to my channel. Alright, for today's video, I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. That's right, I have not done one in a little while. I did a Pop Chef haul, but I have not done a Dollar Tree haul in quite a while. And I want to show you guys... I bought a lot of stuff. They missed me. What can I say? They missed me, meaning Dollar Tree missed me. So, of course, I had to um, show them that I missed them too. <laughs> Before we get into this, though, I do want to say, of course, thank you to all of my subscribers. You know who you are. I appreciate you guys being here. My OGs who've been with me since the very beginning, thank you guys so, so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. And, um, we are going to jump into it because this is going to be a long haul. Um, I may even decide to split the video up into two parts. I don't know, but um, I have a lot of stuff. I think I spent like, probably like $300 on Dollar Tree stuff. I know it's insane, but um one thing I am excited about is that everything that I have here is going to be incorporated in some really cool projects and um, I'm going to use them all. I'm going to use them all. Um, so let's just jump into it. I don't have anything organized. Everything is just kind of thrown here in the floor and um, I want to share with you guys um, some summer stuff. Some, even though you're going to see this after July 4th, I grabbed some July 4th stuff because I have some ideas for some uh, other DIYs. And then uh, I'll share those with you. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop rambling. Let's just get into it. And this first thing that I see right here, this is a great sign. I love this sign. It's from Dollar Tree. And uh, first of all, like, hello, how pretty is that, right? It's really, really nice, especially like Dollar Tree. What's cool about it is it's on, it's kind of on this, you know, little stand. So you could pop that off really easily. Um, you could certainly pop this off if you wanted, this kind of piece here. And uh, I bought this for recycling, honestly, for using it for something else. And what I thought I would do is cut this straight across here. And uh, even though this will pop off, because you can kind of see this is three-dimensional, the shape itself, though, because you can kind of see here, uh, my battery is almost dead. Hopefully it'll last for this haul. But, um, you know, you can kind of pluck that off. But anyway, that I think is a great sign to be able to use for a lot of different things. So I grabbed that. Another sign I grabbed was this one because it looks like a mason jar and it's really, really cool. It's got the stars and stuff. I love these too. I use these a lot on stuff. And you know that mason jar, like you could turn that into a lot of different things, especially with fall decor and stuff coming up. So there's some fun stuff you can do with that. Um, I hit the wood plank jackpot. I don't know if you guys have seen these or not, but they're selling just unfinished wood planks now at some Dollar Tree stores in the Crafter Square section. And uh, it's kind of smooth on one side, it's really rough on the other. Um, I was able to grab, um, they had literally like three cases of these things. So I grabbed like six of these. And um, they have, um, you know, it's good. It's good. It's good wood. <laughs> it's good for crafting and doing DIY projects and stuff. So um, actually, I, I didn't grab six. I grabbed ten. And um, they um, are going to come in very, very handy. And I actually have a couple ideas already for them that uh, I'm working on. The other thing I grabbed were some hand towels. I always use these in my craft room because you can easily wash these and I use them for antiquing wax and stain and everything. And then I needed a new dish rack for the kitchen. So I just grabbed one of those. Um, these little crafting blocks, I freaking love these and I'm finally out of the ones that I had. So I did buy more of those. Um, these candles, anytime I can find these candles at Dollar Tree, I grab them. I really prefer the ones that come in the glass, clear glass cylinders. But these also work really good. And these are the linen scent, so they smell nice. And um, I'll, I'm not gonna put those in that big box and save those. Um, this was something that I have not seen before at Dollar Tree. I grabbed three packages of these because I'm thinking fall. I'm already thinking fall DIYs, but check that out. 
burlap trim. Have you guys seen this at any of your stores? Um, super cute, very versatile. Um, it's not very much. It's like, it's a yard of each, it looks like. So, you know, that's not gonna go super far. That's why I grabbed three of them. But again, super useful for some DIY projects. The other thing I grabbed, um, I grabbed some of these uh, candle wax melts, but I'm gonna tell you why in just a minute. Um, I grabbed some light bulbs for my salt lamp. This was something new I hadn't seen at Dollar Tree, the electronics duster for your keyboard. And it comes with the little stick, you know, to so I'm gonna use that in my office. Um, I finally found the wagon wheel wreath form. I was so looking for this. I had been looking for this pretty much everywhere. I did grab two of them because I have an idea for a couple different projects that I thought could be really, really fun. And uh, one I'm thinking of like a holiday maybe. And then one I'm thinking of possibly doing another summer. We're getting kind of late in the DIY season to still be doing some summer DIYs, which is crazy. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around that. But um, super cute, thought that they were fun. And um, I'm kind of excited to do wreath projects with them. Um, the other thing I grabbed, this was insane. I was so happy to see this. I bought three of these and I bought one, two for me and one for a friend of mine. Um, if you follow Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap, she found these in her latest Dollar Tree haul and I was just like, what? And um, they are ice molds. They make those fancy, you know, big cubed ice cube things for um, cocktails and it's, they make four of them. And she used them on her channel and she said that they work really, really well. And I like an old fashioned and I like having those big, um, you know, ice cubes. So that is for that. And I did buy three of them because I'm going to give one of them to a friend of mine that also likes an old fashioned. So um, I'm not even going to put those over there. I'm going to put those in the kitchen, actually. Put them in the freezer because I'm having some friends over this week. Um, the other thing I grabbed were some small canvases because I needed some small canvases for a project I'm working on for an upcoming DIY. And then... Um, they had the Cricut vinyl, or the uh, bootleg Cricut vinyl, at my store. And um, I want to play around with this. I'm not going to do Cricut projects, you know, for my Cricut videos. But um, I wanted to play around with it and see if it's any good or not. So I grabbed a black and a blue. <coughs> the other thing I grabbed, um, Otis, buddy, are you okay? <laughs> He stepped on something and it scared the poopy out of him. And he just hauled ass, buddy, it's okay. It's okay, Bubba. Um, the other thing I grabbed were these great stars. These are these star kind of stickers. But how cool can those be for holiday? I'm thinking, you know, those Dollar Tree glass faces. Stick these on there. That could be an easy holiday decor DIY. Easy, easy, easy. Um, I grabbed some incense. I like to burn incense in the house. I like it to smell good. And uh, these are um, jasmine scent, sandalwood scent, and lemongrass scent. And they're the chakra ones for the aromatherapy. So, you know, I don't know if they work for that or not. But um, I do like the way that they smell. I like to put them in the bathroom and stuff. And I have a really cool incense burner actually as well that is in one of these bags. Um, this I thought was so cute. I like to keep these little notebooks on me and I always have one like in the car and I have one in uh, like my bag and when I travel and it's just a notebook just for writing down ideas and such because I'll see something out of the store and want to write it down. But I thought it was really cute because it says Busy Bee on it and then look at the paper on the inside. It's got bee prints. How cute is that? With all the back to school stuff coming out, that's already out and about and they had quite a few of them at my store. So if you're into that, check those out. Um, they have some new signs that are very farmhouse inspired. And um, like that one is super cute. Mom's Kitchen, hot and fresh faith and family, friends and food. Thought that that was super cute. Then they have this one called Welcome to the Homestead, which was again, another one that's super cute. And then they have this one that's Bless This Kitchen, but this black and white theme is certainly very popular. I'm probably going to upcycle these signs for another project of some kind. 
but um, those are always fun to have on hand. Um, I found these great frames. Um, these I think would be fun to use for um, some different projects because they're see-through, you know? There's no cardboard back or anything on them and I think that's cute and how adorable is that little nugget right there? She's so cute. With the four by six size, you can do them this way, you can do them this size. Um, super versatile, thought that those were really, really good and wanted to use those. This is a cute glass sticker and it would look really cute on um, like uh, glass, oh, a glass, like a drinking glass. And uh, the sugar skull, I really like this. I wish that I could have found a lot more of these because I probably would have bought several of those. Um, okay, I gotta move faster. These I have not seen in quite a while. And I need one of these for a project I'm working on. So these um, candlesticks, um, I need one, possibly two, but um, I was thinking of gluing them together for the project that I'm working on, but I may end up using those actually for something else. And then there's a black one because I have these like in my decor and I broke one of them. So I just wanted to replace that one. And then remember, I was talking about the incense burner. Um, how cute, right? Really cute. You put the incense in there and then it burns and drops in there. Thought it was super, super cute. And uh, at first I thought it was a ring holder. And I guess you could really use it for that if you wanted to. I'd probably just take a bead and glue it on top of that. That way that hole wasn't there, you know, and maybe like a smaller bead, but you could make a jewelry thing with that really easily. So we grabbed that. Um, this birdhouse I have not seen in Crafter Square. Hi. Super, super cute. And uh, I'm thinking for fall DIYs, this could be really fun to do something with. And then um, I bought some small glue sticks because I always like to have an emergency stash on hand, even though Surebonder sends me lots of glue sticks. Um, just like to have plenty of them on hand. And then speaking of glue, they have this color changing glue and then they have this metallic glue. And um, I just thought they were fun. I don't need them for anything. I just thought they were fun. That's why I grabbed them. And I thought that they could be really fun for, um, you know, if you're gluing on like blue stones or something and you want that blue glue. I don't know. Part of it was just the rush of being in a Dollar Tree too. Uh, you guys are going to see this video after July 4th, but I thought, bought these to decorate the porch with. They look like that there. And uh, I'm going to put them all across the front of the house. And then that, uh, if you remember from one of my family dollar, dollar general, dollar tree hauls from a couple months ago, I found that oversized American flag wood piece that was only like $5 or maybe it was $8. And uh, I'm going to put that on the front porch as well, along with these. So I'm excited about those. I'm probably going to put those over there. That way they don't get lost in the in the box of doom. <laughs> um, the other thing I grabbed, you can hear some clanging around. I'm going to do those last. Um, I'll do these couple things last. Um, some great wood beads. You know, the... the um, the, not the tassels, what are they called? Garland and different things that people are making with wood beads. And then they had these that had all these beautiful colors. And I thought that that could be really fun to make something with because it's got some fantastic colors. It's got some great sizes. You can see there's some little small ones and larger ones. So I bought a couple packages of those because I do want to, you know, keep that kind of stuff on hand. And what's great about these two is that you could easily spray paint them if you needed to. Um, I might actually put those in there. That way I could just put them in the cabinet. Um, and then of course they just fell. Um, I hit the jackpot with these things. I had been trying to find these for a friend of mine and um, she pretty much gave up on these. And then of course that's when I found some. So I've got these for you know who, if you're watching, I'm gonna send you a message and see if you still want these. And if you don't, I am going to make a project with them. So. That um, was something that is uh, kind of a cool find. And then um, I always buy these oversized kind of pillar candles at Dollar Tree. I like these a lot. I think they burn really nicely. And um, this is that uh, unscented one, which I think is always great, especially like in a kitchen. And because uh, I don't want my candle to mix 
and interact with my food, you know? So I always try to have an unscented candle in the kitchen. Um, all right, now let's get into the, the big tub um, of stuff. What is this? Oh, that's the ice things. Um, okay, this thing fell out. How cute is this? It's an LED um, tea light. It flashes, but it comes with all these crystals. So you can put them inside of a jar and um, this thing flashes in all different colors or it lights up in the three different colors. I'm not sure exactly which is which. But, um, and the gemstones, you just kind of put this down in the bottom of your glass jar and then you put that, the gemstone things on top of it and it lights up and it lights up the whole thing. It looks like diamonds and, and jewels and rubies and emeralds and things like that. And I bought a couple packages of those because I thought with the holidays that um, that could be really good coming up, especially. And then the other thing I grabbed were these little things. How cute are these? They're miniature dessert cups and it's a 10 pack, um, which is crazy that there'd be 10 of these. And it's like little dessert cups and they're kind of angled. You can kind of see here how they're angled. But I thought that these could be fun for DIY projects too. And uh, you know those little candles, these little candles, like you could fit those inside of these and these could become votives. They're plastic, so obviously be careful with that. Maybe the little blingy uh, or the battery operated tea lights are better, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. The other thing I grabbed, um, this was brand new. I had not seen these yet. I'd seen the smaller versions of these, but check this out. Have you guys seen these yet? This is cool. Um, I bought four packages of these because I'm creating some faux backdrops for photography and stuff when I'm doing my DIYs. And um, I thought like for a farmhouse, like, come on, I had to have that. And it looks like, you know, the tin. And I even thought about like, how cool would it be if you could, if you could find <laughs> enough of these to put them like on your ceiling and make like, you know, a ceiling like a tin ceiling or something. I wish I, I need a she shed or a he shed. I need something similar so I can start doing all this stuff. Um, so remember my store has a Dollar Tree Plus in it. And um, this they had this great set of mirrors that I thought were really, really cool for $5. And uh, now you get to see all the mess behind me. But um, for five bucks, like five or three little rectangle mirrors, they all come apart. They're all hanging separately, so you can group them together. But I was thinking for DIYs that they'd be great because I love a mirror. Um, I did grab more of these, these little jars. I think I have three of them in here total. And um, that, isn't that a great sound? But I bought these because I'm also going to be doing this action in the top of these with my, um, for my, my deck in the back. If you haven't seen my deck makeover, by the way, check it out on uh, YouTube because I, I love the way it turned out. But with these, you can just screw these off and then check this out. Fits right inside there. And then the solar light still gets lit up and it brightens up this whole thing and is really, really cool. And it looks great. So I bought those. And then I bought, I had to buy these. So I bought three of those. Oh, here's the other one. So um, I was able to get the blue because they have the red, white, and blue ones out right now for uh, the 4th of July. Um, I'm always grabbing paint brushes anytime that I'm there. I'm horrible with my paint brushes. I just kind of use them and then, I know, I throw them away. <laughs> but um, especially the Dollar Tree ones, the more expensive ones, I don't do that too. But the Dollar Tree ones, I do. And, um, I'm gonna put those over by my paint cart. Um, tea lights, again, the holiday seasons are coming up. There's so many uses for these little tea lights and uh, I grabbed those. Uh, remember the other dessert cups I showed you, the kind of slanted square ones? Well, they also had these kind of fluted ones and these are nicer because they are really wide. And again, that would be fantastic. Spray, it's plastic, it's really thin plastic. Spray paint it, put a tea light or a votive in it and you've got a cute little candle holder. Like if you're having, I'm having some friends over on Thursday night um, to kind of christen the deck. And uh, you could put a bunch of these out on the table and put battery operated tea lights in them and it would create the nicest 
environment and you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, like, uh, I mean, you could really throw them away afterwards if you wanted to. I wouldn't do that. I would reuse these. But, um, you know, if somebody breaks them, it's okay. Uh, I grabbed this bag. I think that this is a great summer bag. And, uh, you know, it's mesh. It's great for the beach. It's actually really generous in size. It's kind of perfect for like a pool. And uh, I have a business trip. Um, by the time you guys see this, I'll be back. I'll be on the business trip, actually. I'll be in Los Angeles for a commercial shoot. But uh, this is great for the pool. And that's kind of why I grabbed it, because I was thinking, like, put my towel in there, put my iPod or my, you know, my music in there and just head to the beach. So I'm not even going to put that in the in the box of doom. <laughs> um, the other thing I grabbed was nautical rope because I'm always using nautical rope. Sometimes I buy it on Amazon. Sometimes I just buy it here. It just really depends. And uh, I was able to grab, these are the uh, eight feet bundles. They Be careful when you're buying your nautical rope at Dollar Tree because not all bundles of nautical rope are created equally. Some of them are 11 feet, some of them are 13 feet, some of them are eight feet. And I've heard that there's some even smaller six feet bundles. So, uh, you know, if check them out and make sure that you're getting your money's worth. I made sure that I grabbed all eight feet bundles here because that was the biggest they had, but there were some smaller bundles mixed in there. And, you know, I ain't got time for that. Um, I grabbed some of the air dry clay because I was doing a DIY project that failed and I need more clay. So round two of that project coming up, hopefully soon. Um, they have these cute little signs. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet or not at your store. I have more of them in this box. I'll just skip over them if I end up pulling them up. But um, how cute are these? These little garden steak signs, like super, super cute. And they're all, it's funny because on this side and this side is the smooth wood. And then this side, it's this side they kept the rough wood. You think that they would have reversed that, but um, they're gonna be great for, I think they look so cute. You could take a Cricut if you're really good at painting, which I'm not. Um, you could paint these and then write, you know, like rosemary or oregano and put these in the, or what, you know, uh, daffodils or whatever your flowers are and put those on there. And I think that they'd be really cute in your, in your garden. Um, I bought this for somebody cause I knew that they were a Star Trek or a, uh, Star Trek, a Star Wars fan. And then when, uh, I sent her a text and I'm like, Hey, have you seen this yet? And um, she didn't reply back to me while I was still at the store. So I went ahead and bought it just in case. And then she texted me back and said that she had it. So maybe I'll put that in my giveaway. Did I mention I'm doing a giveaway? I have a giveaway coming up. More to come there. Um, the other thing I grabbed, I told you I grabbed multiple packages of that little tea light with the jewel. So that is in there. Um, so many cute socks. And these are like little ankle socks, but they're big. It's breakfast. It's like bacon and eggs and coffee. Like how cute are those? And they're women's, but apparently they're big women's because they're six to 12. So um, I think I'll be fine. And they're Dollar Tree and they're, they're stretchy. So they'll be fine. Um, I grabbed one of these lemon towels because I was going to do a DIY with it, but then I went in a different direction with that DIY. And uh, now I'm just gonna put it in the kitchen because it'll look good in the kitchen. My kitchen is black and white. Um, I'm gonna save that because some stuff has a, a little bit of a fall twist, believe it or not. Um, I bought these socks for a friend of mine and um, she's moving into a new house. And look, they're squirrels. And she had a squirrel that she always fed at her other house. So um, I got her those to remind her of her squirrel friend. Get it? It's her squirrel friend. <laughs> uh, the other thing I grabbed was this great blue bowl. The patio stuff and the plastic like servingware stuff is so good right now. And I love this bowl. It's great for a salad. It's kind of thin, you know, and flimsy, but it's still super, super cute. And that reminds me I have, darn it, I have two things in the kitchen that uh, are part of the hall that um, it's, a, it's a tray and another kind of tray thing, but um, we'll get to it. I'll show it to you eventually at some point. Um, <laughs> I always grab C batteries when I'm at Dollar Tree because I like this, the batteries there. Um, another thing, a nautical rope. This was something that I saw and I immediately grabbed. Um, I did grab two of these. 
hello, Christmas time. Like this is a bandana. I'm gonna make pillows for the front porch. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, again, super, super cute. And uh, hello, I mean, how popular is the, you know, plaid stuff. Um, this I just grabbed because I thought it was kind of an interesting bowl. It's a hair applicator kit. And, um, but I liked the plastic bowl that's in there. And I thought maybe I could use that for a DIY project. So more to come there. And I did buy two of those ones just buried in the bottom here. I love using these white tea lights and um, they're very small though. They're very, very thin. You can use them like once, but um, because I'm having some friends over and I'm gonna use those other, these things and they're white and they'll go in here, it'll look pretty. And um, hopefully I won't catch everything on fire. I don't even think about that. Um, I always use the Dollar Tree mouthwash. I love this mouthwash. Um, it reminds me a lot of like Listerine and some of the other more uh, more aggressive ones. <laughs> uh, let's see. Stickers, great fall stickers with some great fall stuff coming up. Um, Grab three packages of those. And then more of these little signs. I was honestly thinking that those little stickers could even work really cute on these. Um, this is another kind of jar, but it's got this lid on it. And if you put a bead or something like that on there, it could be a really cute like canister jar. But how cute are those for like your makeup, you know, like your, maybe not your makeup, but your sponges or your, you know, Q-tips or anything like that. And they look really nice. And I think they'd be great in the bathroom. Um, the other thing I grabbed were some of these guys because I thought that they'd be cute for little DIYs or just kind of little background stuff when I'm, you know, doing my, my videos for you guys. Um, this was a new sign, very similar to that other one I showed you. And, uh, but it's metal and, um, you know, you pluck this off and you flip it around even, or you just use that side. Great possibilities. You could untie this knot, flip this around and just use that solid side, peel this off, you know, for the love of God, Dollar Tree. I hope that you made this easy to peel off. And of course, no, you didn't. So uh, good luck with that. But um, again, something cute that could be done or up upcycled. Um, the other thing I grabbed were more paint brushes. Um, I always grab, I told you I always grab the towels. These are actually for my bathroom. The gray ones are for my bathroom. Um, more of the foam brushes, although I've decided after this package, I'm not buying these anymore from Dollar Tree. I don't think that they hold up. They're flimsy. I don't like the way that they work. So I'm not doing any more. No more foam brushes from Dollar Tree for me. Um, that's the other applicator thing I told you about. Um, what else, what else, what else? More socks because I thought that these were super cute and these are for my friend that I'm um, giving those other ones to. Where did I put those other ones? Down there. Um, the other thing I grabbed was some electrical tape because I'm always looking for electrical tape and I couldn't find it. And now I finally remembered. Um, Buffalo again. Buffalo check. Holidays are coming up. Grab it while you can. You know how Dollar Tree is. Um, I've been wanting one of these little rainbow uh, it's like that, uh, it's part of the uh, like little gnome collections and stuff. I thought that it'd be cute to put a magnet on it, honestly, and put it on the refrigerator. So that's why I grabbed that guy. Um, told you I got more rope. Uh, oh, here's the other, um, the other bandanas for the pillows. I had to grab, um, I wanted to make four pillows. So each one only has one bandana. So I had to grab four of those. Um, these signs I thought were great. Um, I don't like what's printed on them, but I like that there's chalkboard on both sides. So if you wanted to make a chalkboard sign of some kind, it's chalkboard on both sides. So you've got lots of options here and the size is really good too. Um, uh, again, something that's super, super cute. I thought this was amazing. Um, when I travel, I like to have a little shaving kit because Father's Day is coming up. They've got some cool stuff. Like it's kind of a camo look. Um, these are usually too small for like toiletries and stuff. But if you are traveling a whole lot 
and um, you know you need a place to put your cords, your your power cords for your computer or your headphones, use these. I'm telling you, these are the greatest things in the world. I use these and I use pencil cases and I will literally put power cords and like I'll put all power cords in one and I'll use zip ties and different things to you know keep them all together but they'll all go in here and then when I'm searching around on my carry-on bag and I'm like where's my power cord I know I can pull this out and I can grab my power cord out of this so that's fantastic for that and I'm going to keep that out because I'm going to be packing soon for my trip um the other thing I grabbed were these things right here I love these for holiday and I love them also just for just for candles <laughs> And um, in case I burn the plastic of those other ones, then at least I've got some glass ones to fall back on. I only bought one set of those. I kind of wish I would have bought two. I did buy two sets of these little votives, which um, I don't know why I did that actually. I think I may have bought one at one store and then forgot. I don't know. I can't explain it. Um, more paint brushes. I'm just gonna skip through some of this. Oh, this stuff is really good. I don't know if you've tried this or not. The Sunkissed, um, this is the drink powder. But this orange peach mango, this is good. And it's really good with some vodka in it. But um, it's really, really good. Um, the other thing I grabbed was this um, hunk drink holder. He inflates and it's just hilarious. And um, I've actually already used it. That's why the box is empty. But I threw it in here so I'd remember to tell you guys. Um, Oh, and I grabbed a little beach chair because I thought that that would be cute outside. I'm doing, um, I have a little tiny house, like a tiny door on the outside of the house that's kind of got some little village stuff like this set up in it. And so I kind of wanted to do a summer thing. And um, I even put a little pool out there or I'm going to put a pool. Stickers, great stickers, puffy, oversized, fun stickers. And um, I, I think I bought them just because they say love. But, uh, cause I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, almost done actually. They have some great, more of these candles. I, I knew that I bought more than just one of those. Um, but they have some gorgeous ones for the holidays already coming out. But look at that with the gold. Isn't that pretty? And I, I have some candle holders that I like to put out on the table for Christmas. And so with the gold, they'll be really, really pretty. And then um, the only other couple things in here is the little umbrella to go with the beach chair because if you have a beach chair, you gotta have an umbrella. And then I bought another pair of scissors. I seem to go through scissors pretty quickly. And then these arrow magnets because I thought that they'd be fun. And then I've got one more bag I've been reserving because it's some fall stuff that is coming out. And um, this sign, even though it's not technically fall, it reminded me of fall, but um, super cute. And honestly, what I was thinking when I first picked it up is that it was already falling apart. But that was a good thing because that means it'll come apart easily. And um, I can glue that back on. But I was thinking if I covered this or spray painted this like white or um, a different, just a different color and then used like maybe that buffalo pattern or maybe some Dollar Tree fabric or just a different color paint back here that you could really make this super fun. And uh, I have a feeling there'll be some of these that'll come out that'll say thankful and you know other things because I feel like I've seen these before. And um, great kind of beautiful flowers. I didn't see these last year, um, but I thought that those were really beautiful and I'm gonna try and get some of these. Hopefully I see more of these because I think it'd be really pretty to do a wreath with all of that color. Um, the other thing that I grabbed were lots and lots of garden flower things. And you can hear other things clanging around in the bag because Rather than wrapping up the glass stuff, they just threw it in here with the with these things, but that's okay. Um, fall, fall is coming. We are going to be, we, we, me, I am going to be doing fall DIY starting mid-July. And um, you know, fall is coming. And these are, you probably saw these all last year. They had these last year. And again, fall is coming. <laughs> 
Fall is coming, whether we want it to or not. And that's why I grabbed those, because those were some of my favorite ones last year. And then I grabbed, oh, I'm so glad I saw this. Okay, so I grabbed a bunch of these. I grabbed, um, I think six of them. And I grabbed different sizes in them. I'm shocked none of them broke. There's a pumpkin that fell off of the stem. So I bought three in that size. And then there's three more in there. For my first fall DIY project that's gonna be coming up. I'll put these up here. And then I saw this on TikTok. And I think that this is brilliant. If you're not following me on TikTok, I am on TikTok now. And um, so you take a salt shaker or a pepper shaker, right? From Dollar Tree. This is the craziest thing, y'all. You take this. And if you're still with me, leave the comment below and let me know that you saw the pepper shaker or the salt shaker dupe thing, because this is crazy. Okay, so you take one of these, you open it up, you break off one of these from your wax melts, because you know, these are little squares. You break off one or two of these and put it inside here, right? Then you put this guy back on there and you put this in your car. You put this in like your cup holder. Like my car has a small, like a real small cup holder thing in the back seat. And uh, which is ridiculous because I have a convertible and the back seat is pretty much useless. But um, and you keep it in your car and then the heat melts that wax. And then the holes through here allows the smell to come through. And that's why you put it in your cup holder because the, the wax will get liquidy but then it smells up your whole car and your car smells nice. I probably wouldn't do more than one of those wax cubes because it probably would be a little overpowering, but what a great tip is that? And then you can change this out too to different scents because you know eventually that's gonna evaporate. I guess it would. And uh, would it? I guess it would, I don't know. But um, yeah, you could change it out for all the seasons. I bought fresh linen because I like that one and I can kind of keep it in the car all year round. But can you imagine putting like the holiday scents in there for the holidays? And then um, even, even when it starts to get colder out, there's still some sun, there's still some heat. So I would probably at that point, let, like let's say if my car was sitting in the parking lot because I'm maybe going in and doing Christmas shopping, but it's still sunny out, you know, but it's still colder out. I'd probably put it on the dash and then just move it before I drove somewhere. But anyway, that is my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I have not done a haul in a while and this is a long, long video. So um, I will say goodbye for right now. And uh, thank you guys so much. And I look forward to the next time we get to hang out together. All right, guys, take care. Bye. <laughs>